Hi, I'm Chris from Dextruct. Today we're going to talk about replacing wood balusters with some solid steel fortress face mount balusters. Uh, the stuff that you will need obviously are the balusters. A uh, quick way to find out what, how many balusters you probably need is to count the amount of balusters that you have. Just make sure that that spacing is under four. That's usually pretty common code. Uh, the nice thing about those balusters is they will come with the proper hardware, so you don't need to worry about that. But other items you will need to make sure you have is a tape measure, pencil, some scrap wood, which we'll get into later, uh, a drill or an impact driver, and a T25 bit. And then something that you might need, depending on how bad these balusters are, and especially the hardware that attaches them, is you may need a sawzall. But if you have all this stuff, we're, we're ready to go. All right, so right now, we're gonna just take these balusters off. So we're just gonna pop this off. All right, guys, now we have all the balusters removed. So the next step is to get these steel balusters attached. Uh, to do this, you wanna find center, uh, just to verify more than anything. Uh, you're gonna take this measurement, you're gonna run it from post to post. You're gonna find out that you are at 72 and uh, about, about a quarter. You're gonna run it back. You're gonna find out that uh, the center should be at 36 and an eighth, which it is. You're gonna take this tape measure, you're gonna take a quick mark, verify that line, and you're gonna mount your center baluster. Just like that. Uh, after that, this one has a drink rail that we didn't take off, so we're gonna do with a simple, simple jig, basically, to line these up, uh, continuing all the way left or right. You can go either way, just as long as you start going one way and keep going the other way when you're done. Uh, this will keep these separated perfectly and keep them level throughout without having to pull out a level every time. If you're in a situation where you don't have this on the top or maybe you're replacing these rails, that's when you can make a, a more complex jig that'll just slide right over the top. I'll just demonstrate it on the bottom here, just like that. You can rest on there, you can line it up, make sure everything's square, zip it in, go to the next one, pop this off, and go to the next one. Continue it, like I said, all the way to the left, and then finish all the way to the right, or start all the way to the right and finish all the way to the left. All right, guys, as you can see, I've only done the top one and the very bottom one. We still have all these other holes to go through. That's the next step, is just to go through and make sure all of these are tight and up against the wood. Now that you're done, you have the strength of steel with a nice modern look to make all your neighbors jealous. <laughs>